All right, guys, welcome to another video, and it's about time we start making videos on our new entrant in the lineup that is the Google Pixel 6. This is my personal device, and I've been using it for a week to 10 days. There is a complete review, camera review, you know, a lot of videos coming about this, but there are some issues that I faced with this particular phone, and of course, no device is perfect. So we will talk about the fix for overheating issues and battery drain issues in the complete Pixel 6 lineup. Now this video will apply to the Pixel 6, the 6 Pro and the Pixel 6a which is sold in India as well, right? So before we get into the details, don't forget to follow us on Telegram. We have more than 2000 people following us there so you can help each other. At the same time, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Karash. Let's get going. Now the tips and tricks, whatever I'm going to show you are going to apply to all these three devices, of course, and they are a combination of a fix for overheating issues and battery consumption issues as well, right? So first things first, let's see here. We have our Pixel 6 running the latest Android version. As you can see, it is running the latest Android 13 with a September security patch. Now, because this is a personal device, I've not gone ahead and unlocked the bootloader. So we are pure vanilla. So it should apply to you absolutely fine. Now, first things first, if you are from India, probably you will not have this problem. But for people who are from across the globe, first thing that I would highly recommend to reduce, you know, heating and battery drain is disable 5G. Now, the reason that happens is because Tensor chipset is built on the base of Exynos chip, which is by Samsung and they have their Samsung modem as well, which is known to overheat. So what you need to do is you need to go to network and internet and then you need to go to SIMS, right? Over here at the bottom, you will have that option called preferred network type. Now, because in India, we don't have 5G yet. It is just launched and not available to everyone. I am by default on LTE recommended. That means I'm by default on 4G. So this type of battery drain or overheating issue is something that I have not experienced. But if you have 5G access and you're using 5G on your Pixel devices, give it a try. It will definitely, definitely help. Now, another thing to note, let me tell you this particular app that you see, it is an app from my Firebolt smartwatch here, right? Now, I'm not saying this app creates issues, especially for people who have Samsung smartwatches and are using the Samsung fitness app. That app is known to cause a lot of battery drain. That is the reason I have installed it. So what you need to do is you need to go to app info, okay? And you need to go to permissions. Now over here, I have not allowed any permissions. But if you have allowed any, make sure you disable physical activity tracking. Now, you know, as much as possible, if you see that this particular app is misbehaving and draining your battery, the first thing I would recommend is uninstall it. If you cannot make do without it, try to give it less permissions and, you know, try to keep the battery optimization as optimized. So as you can see, keep this optimized. So this is a pro tip. Whatever apps you see misbehaving, just go to the app info and make sure it is optimized in terms of battery. Next up, we have a very interesting feature in Pixel devices or Android 13 as a whole, which is keep mobile data always on. Now, what that basically does is even if you're connected to Wi-Fi in the background, it will keep using mobile data. Now, most of the time, this doesn't really misbehave, but sometimes on some devices, it is known to create issues. Now to go there, you need to go to developer options for which you need to go to about phone, go to Android version, tap build number seven times. You will get a pop-up over here stating you are a developer, right? Then go to system and then go to developer options, right? Now over here, just search for always, okay. Mobile data always active. Select this setting, there you go, and I have kept it disabled. So you need to disable this so that when you're on Wi-Fi, it'll use Wi-Fi. Once you move out of the Wi-Fi zone, it will automatically switch to mobile data even if you have this option disabled. Now we come to the specific battery related issues. Now there are a few applications by Google like device health services, digital well-being and Android system intelligence, which are known to create issues on the Pixel 6 in the Android 13 update. So similar procedure over here, what you need to do is go to settings, go to apps over here, and then see all apps. Now on these three dots, you need to select show system. Okay, so one by one, we will look at all these three applications. 
सो द फर्स्ट वन इज डिवाइस हेल्थ सर्विसेस सो डिवाइस हेल्थ सर्विसेस दे यू गो सो वॉट यू वुड डू इज फोर स्टॉप दिस एंड देन गो टू स्टोरेज इन कैश गो टू मैनेज स्पेस एंड क्लियर ऑल डेटा हिट ओके यू आर डन फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर एप ओके नेक्स्ट आप यू नीड टू लुक फॉर डिजिटल वेलबींग मोस्ट ऑफ अस नो वॉट दैट इज डिजिटल वेलबींग सिमिलर थिंग टू डू हियर गो टू स्टोरेज इन कैश गो टू क्लियर स्टोरेज एंड हिट डिलीट नाउ ओवर हियर you can go ahead and you know make sure that cache and storage both are deleted now there is a third application that we will also talk about that is android system intelligence so this is the one here now over here you need to go to storage manage space and you need to select all time also clear now playing history and clear data so once you've cleared data of all these three apps just reboot your device once and you should be good to go now whenever you clear the data of these three applications your battery calibration will start again remember this is a pixel device that we are talking about which relies highly on artificial intelligence so you need to give it about a week's time whenever you formatted your phone or if you've just purchased a brand new pixel because this particular device will learn your usage pattern will learn your charging patterns and then give you battery life accordingly now one thing to note over here if you go to settings and battery these options adaptive charging and adaptive battery they should definitely be enabled because that is what i was talking about just now now moving on we have a few more things to do so you need to go to settings and then go to network and internet go to wifi that is internet and click on network preferences now this option notify for public networks keep it off because if you are someone who is going from home to office and office to home and you don't rely on public networks this will unnecessarily keep scanning for new networks in the background and that is not what we want another thing to turn off in network and internet is adaptive connectivity just go ahead and keep this off they do say that it saves some battery but that's okay you can keep it off and i have also experienced that keeping it off sort of helps me in save a little bit of battery life another thing there is a pixel stand it's basically a wireless charger so if you are not using that very few people use that go to all apps again select show system and search for pixel stand there you go see i have disabled this app so that will prevent the possibility of this app you know taking any toll on your battery life that is a very very important thing to note apart from this if you go to settings and you go to sound you have now playing you can keep this off as well because it uses the microphones to keep searching for whatever music is playing in the you know surrounding area so you can keep that off basic things like you know use a dark theme use dark wallpapers although that doesn't really save a lot of battery life but you can do that and use acu battery now i'm not promoting this app or this is not a paid promotion but what happens with android's battery you know comparison if you go to settings and battery you don't really get the accurate results but in acu battery you will get all the info that you need so all in all if you follow all these steps and re restart your device once the pixel 6a the pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro you should be getting pretty decent battery life and these are wonderful phones give this video a like if you want to see more videos on pixel series of devices until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye